everybody in the room. Sean Baker. Toastmasters guests. Raise your hand and raise it high. How many of you currently have or have ever experienced a fear of something? <laughs> what are you afraid of, sir? Public speaking. Public speaking? Okay, there you go. Yes. Oh, I don't know. Yes. Heights. 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 Okay. So, fear is a common thread among all of us. Right? Anyone know what the number one fear is, I'm talking about the mother of all fears. <laughs> Anybody? The IRS. <laughs> it's tax time. Pay your taxes. <laughs> they will come looking for you. Born and raised in New York City, I had a fear of my mother, Gloria Mary Baker, dying. So much so that I used to pray that I would die before her because I felt like the pain of her death would be too devastating for me. Then I thought, no, that's selfish. Because if I or one of my siblings were to die, my mother would be the one devastated. I don't know how I came to the conclusion at 10 years old, but I decided I was going to shower my mother with so much love and affection. I'd run home. After school, grab my mother and kiss her. Oh, I love you, mommy. I love you, mommy. I love you. I love you, mommy. I love you, mommy. <laughs> she looked down at me and said, Boy, you crazy. <laughs> <laughs> and then when I moved away from home and came to Los Angeles, became a struggling actor, I called my mother on the phone and said, Ma, can I borrow a thousand dollars? Boy, you crazy. <laughs> I love you, mommy. <laughs> and she would send it to me. When she ultimately made her transition in 1996, the blow for me was softened. See, I never neglected letting her know how much I loved and appreciated her. What is fear? Webster defines fear as real or imagined danger, pain. All of us who experience fear know that something happens to us physically. Our breathing changes, become short. The body tightens up. We can't think with clarity. How do you deal with your fears? My wife, Julie, she has a fear of spiders. Now, I'm not talking about big spiders. I'm talking about little spiders. And when she screams, you would think the house was on fire. Ah! 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 Honey, 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 what's wrong? What's wrong? Ah! There's a spider. 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 Oh, okay, okay, honey, I'll get the spider. What do you do with your fears? Do you curl up into a ball and allow your fears to cripple you? Do you let your fears rob you of life and have them keep you from doing something you've always wanted to do? Or do you use tactics to break through the fear? Well, I believe in order to break through to the other side of fear, you have to, number one, acknowledge. Everybody say acknowledge. 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 You have to acknowledge that you have the fear. How you doing, fear? How you doing? No, 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 I, I, I'm right here. No, no, you, you stay, just stay over there. Don't, don't, don't come any closer. Don't come any closer. Number two, you have to embrace. Everybody say embrace. 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 You have to make fear your friend. Okay, everybody ready? Red light, green light, one, two, three. Fear, you moved, you're out, you're out. Okay, noogies, noogies, noogies. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right, you win, you win. Three, then you can overcome. Everybody say overcome. 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 Yeah. Fear has got Sean against the ropes. This looks like an upset. Oh, he's hurt, he's hurt. Uh, 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 Sean comes with a flurry. Boom, and down goes fear. The crowd goes, wow. <laughs> and you can look 
on the fear and say, what? I can't believe I was afraid of that. <laughs> right? Then your, your breathing will change. It'll become fuller, deeper. Your body will be lighter. You'll be able to think clearer. You'll be Leonardo DiCaprio in Titanic. Top of the world! <laughs> Acknowledge, embrace, overcome. My prayer for each and every one of you in here is that you feel the fear and do it anyway. Okay. That you grab fear by the horns and ride it into victory. Huh? <laughs> Don't you owe it to yourself to have a richer, fuller life. Mm. The great Nelson Mandela said, our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. Mm -hmm. It is our light, not our darkness, that most frightens us. We ask ourselves, who am I to be brilliant, gorgeous, fabulous, talented? Actually, who are you not to be? You are a child of God. You're playing small. Doesn't serve the world. There's nothing enlightened about shrinking so that others won't feel insecure around you. We were born to make manifest the glory that is within us. And as we let our own light shine, we unconsciously give others permission to do the same. As we are liberated from our own fear, our presence automatically liberates others. Madam Toastmaster, 